in this video i will talk about electric power and electric energy the terms electric power and electric energy are the closely related terms so what is power power equal to energy divided by time how many joules of energy gets absorbed or produced per unit time the unit of energy is joule and the unit of time is second therefore joule per second will indicate the therefore the joule per second will indicate the unit of power which is watt now what is this electric power the electric power is the rate at which the work is done in an electric circuit in equational form i can write it like this electric power equal to work done in electric circuit divided by time now look at this circuit when this 9 volt is applied across this 10 ohm resistor you will see see the voltage source causes movement of electrons in this circuit see electrons are moving freely in this total circuit as a result it causes a current flow in this circuit see the current is 0 0.90 ampere as the electrons are moving in this closed path they are moving with a certain energy therefore the work is done in moving these electrons in this closed path the work is done in moving these electrons in this closed path in a unit time is called electric power if you look in the circuit you will see the electrons are moving continuously in this direction that means i can say there is a displacement of electrons in this circuit and this 9 volt source is forcing the electrons to move in this direction therefore i can say there is also a force in this circuit exerted by this voltage source as there is force and displacement in the circuit i can say the work is being done in this electric circuit to move the electrons throughout this closed path now consider this point as point a this point as point b the potential difference between this a and b point is denoted by b and see as this is a closed path i am getting a current flow let's say i here here b is 8.998 volt and current is 0 0.90 watt r is the resistance to current flow between this a and b point here r is 10 ohm now let's say for the time t the current i flows in this circuit if i know the amount of current flowing in this circuit for a certain period time t i can calculate the charge in the circuit q equal to i t as i know the amount of charge i can calculate the voltage because voltage v equal to work divided by charge q so i can write our work will be equal to v Q. So our electric power will be denoted as P. P will be equal to C. Work done in the electric circuit I have shown you is equal to V Q. And the current is flowing in the circuit for the time T. Now I know the value of Q equal to I T. If I put that here I will get V I T divided by T. So our power will be equal to V into I. So we will calculate the amount of power or the amount of work is being done in an electric circuit to move the electrons in that circuit per unit time equal to V i in a DC circuit we calculate power by using this formula P equal to V i voltage into current or V square divided by R voltage square divided by resistance or current square into R now what will be the unit of this power power is expressed in watt so p equal to v i here the unit of p will be watt and the unit of voltage will be volt and the unit of current will be amperes the or if i consider this case voltage square divided by ohm or current that means ampere square 
into the value of register will give us the unit of word when we generate electricity the word the word is a very small quantity therefore we use either kilowatt or mega watt kilowatt the 1 kilowatt will be equal to 1000 watt and 1 megawatt will be equal to 1000 kilo watt or equal to 10 to the power 6 watt or 1 lakh watt now let me talk about electrical energy we will measure the concept of energy in terms of work the higher the amount of work the more energy is consumed the total work done in an electric circuit is called electrical energy and in equational form i can write electrical energy equal to electrical power into time see here in this circuit you will see the electrons are continuously moving in this direction as the electrons are moving therefore i can expect displacement of electrons in this closed path and see this voltage source is forcing the electrons to move in this closed path here we have force that is acting upon the electrons and this and due to this force there is a displacement in the electrons movement S therefore i can expect a work is being done in moving the electrons in this circuit now how do we calculate the amount of work being done in this circuit let's say this is our a point and this is our b point between this a and b point i have a voltage difference or potential difference p b the current that is flowing through this a b path is let's say i now this this i amount of current is flowing for a time of t therefore our therefore the total charge flowing through this a b path for the time t will be equal to q equal to i t we know that voltage equal to work divided by charge q here our q will be i t and the work is let's say work from which i can write our work will be equal to v i t so this is the equational form of our electrical energy which i can write like this electric power equal to v i and the time is t therefore our electrical energy will be equal to v i t and in case of dc circuit we can calculate the energy by using this formula v i will be equal to can be written as v square divided by r into t or i square r into t now if the unit of this electric power is in word and time in second the unit of this electrical energy will be watt seconds if the unit of this electric power is in watt and the time is in hour the unit of this electrical energy will be watt hour but if the unit of this electrical energy is kilowatt and the unit of this time is hour the unit of this electrical energy will be kilowatt hour so what does one kilowatt hour mean one kilowatt hour of electrical energy is consumed in an electric circuit if if one kilowatt of power is supplied for one hour in that circuit one kilowatt hour implies one unit of electrical energy one kilowatt hour or one unit is the unit in which our electrical energy consumption is measured